Yeah, the book of James, chapter 1, verses 17 says, Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. And I want to share with you very briefly, understanding that every good and perfect gift comes from above, that means comes from God. So how can we tap into God's storehouse? I believe that there's quite a lot in God's store and God has everything that we need. However, there has to be a way that we can tap into this storehouse, into the abundance of God. And this channel that can help us tap into God's storehouse is called faith. And I want to share with you very briefly about faith. The Bible says in Hebrews 11, verse 1, that faith is the confidence of what we hope for and is an assurance about what we do not see. There are four things that I want to explain about the definition of faith. The Bible says that faith is the confidence in the things we hope for. So one has to be hoping for something in order to be able to receive from above. So there must be hope. And where do we get that hope from? The Bible says in Romans 10:17 that faith comes by hearing and hearing the message of Christ. In other words, it is the word of God that gives us what we have to hope or expect to receive from God. There are thousands of promises of God. God has given thousands of promises to his people. And therefore, we have to hope to receive things from God. The basis of our hope is the word of God. It's the message of Christ. It's what God has promised. Be it salvation, be it healing, be it deliverance, be it blessings. All these things have been promised in the word of God. And therefore, we must hope to receive what God has promised. Now, faith takes us to another state. The Bible says it's the confidence in what we hope for. So you have got to move from just hoping, from just head knowledge, from just knowing that God has said something to another state that you become so confident that everything that God has promised in his word is possible and will come to pass. The second portion of the scripture talks about an assurance of the unseen things. In other words, Faith deals with the things that we haven't seen yet. So God has promised in his word, God has said something that is about your life, that is due to you, but you haven't actualized it. You have not touched it. You have not seen it. But when you believe, when you're confident about what you are hoping for, the Bible takes us to another state, wants us to be sure of what is not seen. So you start seeing it even before you see, you start being sure that it will happen even before you have really realized it. There is a challenge that we always face in the walk of faith. From the time you start believing, you believe God to receive something, to the time you actually see, there is this journey. And this is the time, the second portion of scripture that says, an assurance of what has not been seen really works very well. It is the time that your attitude, your words, your confessions, your actions should show that you are you're sure of what you haven't seen yet, but you expect to receive it. Now, Hebrews 11, 6 says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. In other words, the only way we can relate to God, the only way we can receive from God is through faith. There is no any other thing that we can receive something from God except it through our faith. For 11, uh, Hebrew 11, 6 says, For anyone who goes or who comes to God must, the word must, you should underline it, believe that he does exist 
and he rewards those who earnestly seek him. So even as we go in prayers, even as we trust God to receive anything from God, we first, we first and foremost must believe that he does exist and he rewards those who seek him. That's why the Bible says, it has said in Hebrew 11, 1, that you have to be sure of what is hope for. And we have to be sure of what is not seen yet. So putting it in simple words, our faith in Jesus is the basis of everything that we can receive from above. And the foundation of this faith is the word of God. It's the message of Christ. It's not any other thing. It's not in any other man. It's not in things. It's not in tangible things. It's not in the things that we see. But it's in the faith. Our faith in Jesus Christ. Our confidence in the word of God. Our trust in what God has promised. I challenge you, my listener, my listener, and someone who is watching me now. May you put your confidence in the promises of God. May you put your confidence in what God has said. May you be a vigilant learner and student of the word of God. Because from there, you will understand what to hope for. For all the promises of God are what we can hope for. And be sure that what God has promised is able to do, is able to fulfill, is able to accomplish. And it shall be so in your life. I pray for you that God will do a miracle in your life. I pray for you that you receive God's blessings. I pray for you, you receive God's salvation because it has all been promised in the word of God. And may it be so unto you. May you open your heart and be expectant and receive from the Lord. Faith is the only channel that can make you receive or tap in the abundance of God. Believe God and it shall be yours. God richly bless you. Amen.